Ooh, what is up my beautiful people? And of course, as always, welcome back to another, of course, video from your Rules calendar. And today we're going to go over, of course, the PU suspect banning in actually Hariyama. Now, Hariyama, as far as I'm aware, has been uh, in concept a dialogue for how viable that Pokemon really is. And uh, I have the wrong mood set here. Let's see, Gary. Never mind. Um, has been a suspect ban for uh, actually before, or was supposed to get that before. Didn't get it due to, uh, um, well, let's face it, um, Hemershamp was in NU at the time, and the PU uh, Council didn't necessarily want to auto ban it directly. The auto ban Medicham was on the basis of guts uh, debating whether or not it should ban Hiriyama too. They did not do that. Which definitely means one thing that it really wants to test it out before that, and it's clearly already has been shown that Hiriyama really does push a lot of teams back quite a lot. And no, I'm no different here. I face a few of them than myself, and it's never really an easy time. Now it has two sets here. The first one is of course the one I'm using here, which is a Flame Orb variant. The other one is actually the Sulfur variant with Thick Fat, which nullifies any special attackers. But we're gonna focus on the heavy variant, which is definitely something that I do believe most teams are hard time switching into and um, this is a trick room set uh, or trick room team i've been using just for fun basically and it's fairly viable it has some issues but it's kind of supposed to because it's trick room after all but we have three trick room setters one could really settle for four if one desires but three felt enough here uh, so we have of course executor hiriyama dusk lops duition cobbing with mental hub as you guys can see and sturdy uh, and of course marowak the regular one marowak is actually fairly Fairly incredible in this variant here, though one could really optimize his team for something different. I'm um, using Marowak because I think it's cool. So um, that's how you know it won't be the most viable team out there, but it's it's doing fairly all right. And uh, the idea here is basically to set up Trick Room, get up rocks, uh, push the team back, and eventually sweep with Hariyama. Uh, we'll see a star you here. This is really cool. Uh, I am all for a star you. And. Um, Quillfish or the Exilgo or Exil or them. Um, the Lycan like Rock really does make for a fair, um, a fair lead. I do believe my Marowak just wins this matchup, so that's really good. Uh, we're gonna start with Cobank. I don't care if he stacks against me, as we see a Quillfish lead here. Um, as stated here, that's quite alright. As I'll just go for a Stealth Rock here. He taunts me. Bitch. Good thing, you know, I got the Metal Herb after all, so we get to treat the Stealth Rocks up anyway, so... He has a Rapid Spinner and Star Use, I guess they're alright. Uh, we can go for Trick Room here in case he goes for another one. Uh, he goes goes directly for the Stealth Rocks, alright, that's okay. Um, since we have the Sturdy intact, I really don't want to sack this mod, so we got the Trick Room, and that's going to make his day just right. Um, and we can't do anything about... This is really going to suck, though. Um, we're not going to capitalize on the flame orbs. So we're going to switch out to Ryama, get the poison over the toxic. Uh, as it goes another layer, that's quite right. We can spam facade here uh, and should do a decent chunk on anything he decides to switch in. And trust me, there is really no real switch ins here. Quillfish might take it, but yeah, that wasn't defensive. There we go. Yeah, that's that's why we like Hiriyama. I can basically now. I can. I think I can settle for facade basically. Um, I don't think there's any real. Uh, real trigger room team here. Let's see. Um, <laughs> sorry. I don't think it has a real um, switching here. He's gonna respond to him. Let's see... Yeah, I'm still forced to go for a close combat, even though it is the most obvious set or attack I have to go for it. Um, hmm. So, yeah, basically, from here on out, it's whether or not I want to go to his uh, Lycan Rock and try to go for the damage. Decide to go to the Executor. Um, that's interesting. Uh, I'd probably go for Lycan Rock and go for uh, the Accelerator Rock directly. So I'm going to go for Zod here. I'm pretty sure I KO here. I do not. And it's a Citrus. Ah, cool. This is actually kind of cool. I am all about that. I am all about that. Let's see. We're going to go to Duition here. And we're going to set up a Trick Room again. Um, 
goes for Leech Seeds. That's quite right because it's it should come without saying that clearly clearly we are magic card here. So we're going for Shadow Ball. That's going to KO uh, because it's a tuition. It's it's fucking shit up basically. <laughs> All right. Um, Hariyama did what Hari Hariyama does though. So that's. That's kind of what it was after, after all. It's, he goes for Lycan Rock. I'm pretty sure we KO with a Psy Shock. I'm not sure. Uh, we did not. Goes for Sword Stance. That's kind of gutsy, actually. As I go for another one, let's see what he decided. If he has the Accelerate Rock, it still won't do uh, um, too much, really. It really, really won't do too much. Oh, he forgot about the trick for a few seconds, I see. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to backfire on him. Uh, he should have Exilic Rock, though. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the Magic card. <laughs> Not the first one. Alright, so let's see. He got Electivar left, and he got uh, Star U. Electivar might be his best call here. Um, goes to Star U. Alright, I I'm kinda wanna go for recovery here. I don't think he can set up, so we'll just go for that and see what he decides to do. Goes for skull, that's not gonna be enough. Uh, so I'll just set a trick room again myself. Um Yeah, he's he's definitely pushed to breaking point here. Um you know, I'll I'll get that. Um there's only so many sets and moves you can do. Now Sideshock probably won't do too much either. It did fair actually, it did surprisingly fair. Alright, go for the side shot, KO. I'm just gonna save my remaining turns, get the damage onto the Electavar, and then finish it off with a Drake UMC uh, um, Executor. Goes like, oh, that's cool. You know, I am all about the quick attack there. You rarely see that. You rarely see that. Alright, that is a GG, and uh, yeah, Trick Room on its own is very powerful in PU, though clearly, as you guys saw here, Hiriyama does push that boundary a little bit more. Um... <laughs> oh, it's, it's a choice bandit quick attack. <laughs> that's awesome. Alright, so that's a wrap. Um, really cool game, and... Um, Really cool, uh, really cool overall concept here. I am, I am definitely. I, I like to see people using more unique stuff. Uh, all right, let's go for another game. I try to go for at least three games. You know, clearly we're gonna face eventually people who are bringing you know the try hard teams, which I believe my my team really is. And, um, you know, without the, all the Primal Sweeper, Crabominal, for example, is one of those Pokemon I do believe will take over for Hiriyama once Hiriyama is banned, because it's definitely going to get banned. Uh, as you guys saw, there was really nothing taken on, you know, poor Quillfish really just got eradicated. Now, from the get-go here, it looks like Quillfish is our source of interest here. Um... One thing I see directly here is a Lilligan probably puts a lot of work against my team. And I would say that I'm not the biggest fan of um, of Absol here. As I also with Carbink, he starts with the Quillfish. He's definitely going to go for a Taunt here again, I'm sure. That, that's the easy route, basically. That's why Mental Herb is such a nice asset, really. Uh, actually, I probably should go directly for Trick Room. No, I definitely want rocks. I definitely want rocks. Oh, Waterfall directly. So we got a Psycho over here. That's cool. We really like one of those. We like those. Let's see. <laughs> so it goes to Dust Club, puts the pressure on him. That's the right play. Uh, we're going to go for Trick Room here. Still hoping for no taunt, basically. Um, the thing is, this Dust Club is the Nightshade Toxic variant. You can get, go for the Willow Wisp set. Um, due to the burn nerf and clearly Hariyama, there I do believe there are so many factors that kind of makes this Pokemon hard to use. So Toxic Nightshade is this better one, basically because it does kind of rack up the damage. It also means that Mod Subject Quillfish completely walls me, and that's never alright. Uh, so I'm going to switch in Hariyama here, get the Flame Orb going. He's going to go for the third layer, I'm sure. No, hard switches it to Oricorio. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Heavy Slam takes it out, though. Yeah, I was fairly sore about that, too. <laughs> so you get intimidated. Uh, the thing is here, at this range, I'm pretty sure Fazad does retaliate and does KO him, though he could switch into Irrecorio Ir again. Uh, but he can only do that play so many times. Recorio clearly does free fall here eventually. Um, oh, he goes for Aqua Jet. So he's going to lose his Quillfish here. Though he got the layers he wanted to some extent. So it's quite right. Um, we do have one more turn of Trick Room. It's whether or not... Yeah, it goes to Prime Ape. Do I really risk this? It's so viable here. No, I'm going to Dust Clubs here. It really is one of those things. Like, I can't really risk the play itself as it goes for a close combat as we eventually we, we're completely nullifying that um he has to switch out so we're gonna go directly for the trick room again um pretty strange go for close combat i'm not gonna lie about that as he goes to oricorio which <laughs> i don't believe oricorio really is necessarily that much of a threat towards me um Sounding super ballsy when I say that, but what I'm trying to say is that it really aren't. Um, let's see, I got the stealth rocks up. Yeah, I'm here for stain. Shadow Ball really, really does pain me. Um, while I am faster, I really don't want that much residual damage onto me. Um, I, I sack I sack carbon care basically. Um, Let's see, Revelation Dan is going to KO. I don't think the crit matter, and if it did, you know, good for you, basically. Um, uh, yeah, Marowak. Marowak is not that important in this game. You just go for a knockoff and get the KO. Um, his switch in here, if after that, should definitely be Pillow Swine. And Pillow Swine, I cannot KO that easily, but I can get it. Either a knockoff or a bone rang out. No, either way is fine here. I'll just basically have to make up my mind as Pillow Swine comes in. Um, we have two turns. I really, 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 really want to see him try to KO me instead. So we go for the knockoff instead. It's it's the worst of the two play, but bone rang would not kill as Ice Clash Crash will not KO. <laughs> Though I'm pretty sure Ice Shot will. So that was unfortunate. It's whether or not he has Ice Shard. He definitely should have Ice Shard. Uh, I should definitely go for Bone Rang no matter what. Um, oh, it sucks. If he has Ice Shard, he should have Ice Shard. Uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, it would be as just really, really, really risky of not going for that play. As uh, the Wishing can't simply just not win due to Absol. So, and I really, 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 really don't like Absol. Um, he's going to go for rocks. I I'm pretty sure about that. Um, yeah, it's Dust Club's time. So the thing I can do, go directly for Trick Room, he sets up Rock, I go for Toxic. Um, probably actually should go for Toxic first. Actually. I think that's a better play, because I'm pretty sure Absol can come in here f relatively freely. And uh, I'm pretty sure he realizing that uh, Alolan Executor can become quite a hassle. The vision is really, really redundant for this matchup, though. Uh, Ghost Stealth Rock, as stated, that's probably was the ideal play. Um, let's see. Go for Nightshade. That shouldn't KO. It does. That's unfortunate, actually. So Absol comes in here, clearly freely. Um, ah, it's not what I wanted. That's not how I wanted this to go. Um, oh, that sucks. Like I said, that's not how I wanted the turn of events to go here. Let's see, so we go to Duition. I should probably be able to soak a hit here. Um, I hope. This is this is a gamble from my side. Uh, we did not. We did not. 
I messed up. I messed up badly. All right, you know that's fair. You win some, you lose some. This is this is all on me. This is definitely all on me. Um, I think it goes for a sucker punch here. So with that in mind, we're gonna go to Hiriyama. Yeah, there we go. And I force her to go for a bullet punch. She predicted that just nicely. As um, ah shit, facade it is. It's like one turn of pain left, but I'm still not gonna win. Um, oh, oh shit! All right, but we do so. Okay, you know that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I still can't beat a little again though, so I, I'll say we did a fair, fair trade off here. Um, because I died to residual damage, I'm pretty sure. And if I don't, I'm knocking out speed. Yeah, there we go. GG. I messed up. I really messed up there. I should definitely go off a trick room there with my dust club. So that's you know that sucks. You know, I really didn't think Nightshade would do that much because I thought it was investing in HP. Probably wasn't. Uh, all right, this looks like a fat ass team. Um. Easy lead here would be, uh, I do believe, Agron, right? So... Cobbing still like his best lead, though. If I get up rocks, he's gonna have some tough residual damage to deal with. Um, I'll start with Whack. It goes to Electros, though. These, this mod can definitely be tough on me. Um, presumably, he does carry either knockoff or worse of all, really, uh, which would be um, Giga Rain. Do these Pokemon tend to be to some extent physical? I guess goes to Scarbing. Fuck it. Goes to Giga Rain. Doesn't do too much, really. Uh, so we go for an easy trick room here. And uh, after that, I do would believe we go for rocks and then explode. Um, because it should be faster, so going for Trick Room first would be most desirable. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. I still need Rocks though, so that's what we're gonna do. And then we bring the Pain. Which would be what? He's really overthinking this, isn't he? So you get the rocks up, he goes for another gigant range, so that's quite alright. Um, let's see... Ugh. I think his AV... I really, really believe his AV, so I'm gonna go for Sun Shock here. I think... If he goes to Skunk Tank, that's a fair play. Um, oh shit, we did the damage there. Um, I said it, I'm pretty sure his AV, so I do believe that was an honest chance to really get the real damage on it. The damage. I want to get the damage on you, Monsieur Lecros. That's the dumbest thing I said all day. And I have a long day ahead of me. Um <laughs> anyway, let's see. He's really just take his time here. I'm gonna set on I I'm really gonna take the level here and set up the timer. Um his ideal play here in my honest opinion would be to go with pursuit as I switch in Hiriyama. If it goes for defog, that's good. That works. Because if we go for defog, you know, we, we have a tougher environment to deal with, so I'm not a force to actually accommodate for that. Um, now the only bad part about this is that we don't get the activation of Flame Orb. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see Weezing come in, and that's quite right. If he stays in here, he's going to get a hefty chunk of damage onto him. So I think he's waiting that out a little bit. As we see the Weezing, Close Combat is not going to do anything. But with fa with the um, Facade Boost and Guts, I'm pretty sure Weezing just pops. And that's a rare occurrence to see. Have you ever seen a Weezing pop? It looks something like this. <laughs> Oh, come on already. Make your call, buddy. I'm doing a showcase here. Come on. Goes for Rain Dance, actually. How about that? How about that? Let's see. You not expect that. Um, gonna make it rain, bitch. 
Okay, so with that in mind, probably he's not going to go for a paint split, right? Memento, that's... That's worse, though, isn't it? Let's see. My, In my honest opinion, I would believe this is definitely turning into what I would say, you know, touching that uh, crazy variant. Goes for Billy Drum. Now, oh, that's gutsy. That is gutsy indeed. And what is that? That's Trick Room, buddy. That's you losing versus me. Um, right, what do I do now? I basically go for Nightshade, get so much damage as possible on him. Um, that's a really, really ballsy move from him. I would not have done that if I faced a Trick Room team, because you're, you're kind of screwed already. This is not resolving anything for you, is it? Um, alright, you know, I'll take it. I have two turns of me killing something already. I was gonna see the wheezing pop, so I'm kinda I'm, I'm kinda disappointed. <laughs> Alright, since he's Electros. At this point he's probably just trying to survive the turns, and quite honestly, I think that's a, a fair play to make. Um I probably would juggle around between Agron and um the other mods basically to force my myself going for facade. Clearly I should just keep going for close combat, but I, I do not want to be in an environment where he pursuits traps me. So we go for the close combat here. Um it's gonna KO uh, clearly and we'll get this Pediff drops. And uh, yeah, here's the thing though. Here is the thing though. Ooh, I did not think about that. I did not think about this. Uh, damn. He maybe got me. Maybe I got too bolted there. Let's see. Let's see. I need to sack something. Yep, sacking executor. Fight DMC, alright. Yeah, I have to do it. It's gonna KO, no doubt. Um Oh, it stinks. Maybe the red guys can pull through. I'm pretty sure a fight you see Simu does kind of wrap up for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, in the aftermath. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Now, I think he misplayed though, because I think bullet punch uh, guarantee me the KO here. I could be wrong. Let's find out. If not, you know, that's fair. I think you should stay in, go for the fight UMC. Oh, boo, boo! <laughs> oh, that's awful, boo! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Ah, <laughs> boo! <laughs> oh, what is luck? What is luck, my people? All right, that wraps it wraps it up. Um, it was supposed to be some kind of uh, you know I was going to showcase how great Hariyama is here, but clearly Red Eyes did push it over the borders, and as you guys saw, that's all you need. Actually, you know that's a fair win. You know if you're going to lose to something, that is how it looks. <laughs> that's great. Anyway, guys, I hope you got you. I hope you guys got a few ideas of uh, how the Hariyama works, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'm really glad you guys stayed in for this long. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, of course, take care as always. Bye.